My name's Diamond. I'm from the Lower East Side. Whenever I walk home from school, it's just seeing a whole street of like bodegas and small like shops closed. This neighborhood would change drastically to a point where it's not going to have a trace of Hispanic people or like just things that meant a lot to me and things that meant a lot to people in the community. Future generations, they'll never feel like they fit in because they don't see, I guess, their own people or like they don't see things that they resonate with, you know? And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with having diversity. There isn't, but what the problem I think is that other people who are coming in are just pushing other people out and that's not diversity. Gentrification means um, the removal of the native community, which is usually brought on by another group of people with a higher socioeconomic standing. In other words, the ability to pay higher rents, and it pushes the rent, the the base rents higher. So the people who have been in the community have to um, move to another neighborhood and then the neighborhood essentially change, changes to a wealthier neighborhood. It's like in this community, it used to be all predominantly black. Then around 1990 or so, other nationalities started coming in. But it was just the improvement and, and the transition from one uh, part of the neighborhood to another. Uh, how you guys doing? My name is Randall Lara, and I am the owner of R. Lara's Grocery Store, located at One Common Avenue. New York, New York, 127. Man, we have a variety of stuff here at the Arar Deli. My dad opened the business up back in 2000, and we've been here ever since. I took over the store last year, so I've been an owner for a year now. Gentrification is definitely something that's happened in this community, and I've seen hand in hand the transition. You guys have walked up the block, but they're making condos in the corner. There's two new buildings on the side. The school right here used to be a public school, now it's a charter school. So this community is definitely heading to where it's like high end. You know, there's projects literally across the street from us. So who knows what's going to happen to those projects from here 10 years to 20 years from now. So there is going to be heavy changes in the next 5 to 10 years. A lot of this stuff doesn't fly off my shelf as much because a lot of people that were buying these products, they're not around anymore. I have people now that will buy me these cases here. This case costs $14. It's a problem to those getting kicked out. Or those getting pushed away. Not even kicked out because I don't think that's the proper term. Getting pushed out. Because after a while, these poor communities, these poor families that can't afford rent, they get backed up in rent. You know, one, two months. So like, okay, maybe I'll make it in the third month and I'll compare and I can still stay. No, they just, they get pushed out because they just can't afford it anymore. Maybe the board of somewhere should get together and gather a whole bunch of people and try to put these families in a program or, or, or set them up where they don't get pushed out less than six months and less than four months. They don't get pushed out like that. You know, there has to be some sort of program where like, okay, well, this is happening. You guys have X amount of time to either leave or, or can you stay? Make the Road is a community organization located in various areas of New York City. We have a committee that is BASTA, that we're working on defending tenants against landlords. There's a lot of going on here about eviction because of the gentrification. So a lot of people are coming in to get help to see if they don't want to leave their apartment. And we tell them what their rights, what they need to do. And then they go to court, we try to get them a lawyer so they could defend them in there. I think people should come together to talk about it because I don't think I'm not saying that I'm the most educated person on gentrification and I know that a ton of people have other opinions on gentrification and how they've been affected and I know a lot of people think that gentrification is good whereas I think that it's not so great of a thing to an extent. Um, and I think if we just have an open conversation and open mind to it and if we come together I feel like that itself, just having conversation is a great way to create a solution.